it is week 13 of my weigh-in and before I do my weigh-in excuse me I always do this like burpee situation in the morning if you've noticed um, I just wanted to say uh, that two days ago I filmed that update which was uploaded like yesterday like early morning late Thursday night um, and I am feeling a much better today um, I didn't film anything on Friday which I typically do like my routine has been like pick up the camera Friday because I have the time to edit Saturday and then I'll pick up the camera Saturday because it's my way in so on the weekend I tend to have a little bit more time to put up the videos but I didn't film anything yesterday because I had honestly I had an even worse day on Friday emotionally like my son and I'm gonna share this and hopefully I don't cry again but my son um, just in brief he um, in the morning just typical boy stuff you know he didn't do anything that bad but I think I was just caring so much that I went off on him I it, and it was more for a cry for help like I wasn't yelling at the top of my lungs um, I did raise my voice but it was just it turned from trying to correct the situation to just crying for help and he looked at me like what does pain anything what does pain your car what does working what does this have anything to do <laughs> with what I did and I'm just like at the end I just remembered that I felt like I had blacked out and I was like whoa I'm still talking to my son you know I didn't I don't even know if I realized that I was talking to him or anything um, I didn't curse at him or anything so he was just really confused and and I think for the first time he understood a little bit of what being an adult is <laughs> like he really was like whoa um, so I felt so bad afterwards I had a nice conversation with him he is such a smart kid and he was able to understand like oh I think if I were in your shoes I would probably feel the same like he even made me more cry and more emotional because of the things like you're so grown up and you like oh my god I am getting emotional you like understand me like my son oh he's wonderful he's hyperactive has a little attitude hard to follow directions sometimes but he has a good heart and I see it so oh my god I said I wasn't gonna cry um I get emotional about my son too so <laughs> but anyways he just was great and but I still like even after I dropped him off of school I was still feeling like emotional emotional and just like worse than what I had felt you know the previous three days from when I didn't even pick up the camera so I had to pull over and I just had to call someone and I ended up calling my sister and she helped me a lot so thank you I love you if you watch this <laughs> um, and I was able to have a better day so today um, even though I'm crying a little bit just because I'm talking about the story mentally I'm actually feeling a lot better um, so I am gonna see someone about it because I've never felt this way and the reason why I wanted to say that um, was because I just kind of wanted to clear a little bit of things and I know a little few people left me comments saying like I hope you're still okay you know and I just want to I just want to thank you guys because honestly the combination of talking to family um, talking to a few people at work that I you know that I confide in and then watching like reading your comments like all of it together just made me realize I have a I have a support system and I've never been good at using it but I noticed that um, you know I'm trying to identify that so I want to use it like I'm being more conscious and saying it's okay to ask for help so I'm slowly working on it guys but I just want to say thank you so much because I did see them and I haven't had a chance to reply to every single one but I will trust me um, and just from the bottom of my heart like I love it so thank you and I know I've gained a few subscribers which is awesome welcome to the home biscuit community weight loss journey uh, situation and just life situation so I am gonna weigh myself because I've been talking way too much because that's what I like to do so here we go as you guys know here is the routine and if you don't know my scale stays here forever and then I step on it and then I record it 329 sorry guys 329.8 
this camera I still gotta get used to. There it is. So there you see it. I'm really, I really gotta get used to that zoom because it disappeared by the time I zoomed in all the way. Um, 329. So that is, well, one, I am officially, officially out of the 330s. Ah! I think I remember being in the 340s for like ever in a day and now I'm officially out of the 330s. So that in itself is an accomplishment. And I think I was 332. So I'm down two pounds, 29, 30, 31, 32, three pounds. Oh, I don't need to, I don't know how to do my math. Three pounds, okay, so things are slowly picking up. Oh gosh, I'm so happy, like I'm okay with two, Two, two to three pounds like that was my goal um, when I first started this sorry I got some notifications on my phone for whatever reason it's like seven o'clock in the morning <laughs> um, but that is awesome I am so happy about that so in my last video I had told uh, you guys that I did some drastic changes um, to my diet because um, what part of the reason why I was going through so much and I briefly mentioned that is because I was just frustrated like on top of everything else I was frustrated every day I was tired I mean you guys know in my last honestly my last like since like, I got out of the hospital I made the very best effort to live life as normal as possible but you know some days I got up on the camera and was like I'm feeling bloated today was not a good day I just not you know and things just really didn't just went go back to normal and I didn't you know obviously you don't go from getting out of the hospital to going back so this is for all the new subscribers if you haven't watched all the videos I was in the hospital four weeks ago really quick because of gallstones issues my gallbladder was infected I was there for like eight days it's been horrible ever since that's the short version of it so I knew going back to regular life wasn't just gonna go back I knew it was gonna take time I just didn't know it was gonna be this hard where I felt bloated 24 7 where I would go hours an entire day sometimes without eating and then I would force myself to eat just because in the back of my head I knew I have to eat something but really I don't want to I don't want to because I feel like crap every time that I eat so I gave up dairy when I first got out of the hospital because those were doctors order it was hard but I didn't have a choice and plus I didn't feel like eating ever so I didn't even crave dairy to be honest with you so as time went on you know you guys saw them I would do lean meats ground turkey chicken fish Eat healthier diet obviously I still lost a little bit of weight because I was still doing the food part of it this past week with everything that happened I was just like I'm done I actually went to my mom's house before she went to the hospital to talk about her that's the reason why I went to her house is I wasn't feeling good and I was gonna talk to her about giving up animal products in my diet and what she thought about it and just kind of get other people's opinions about it before I decided to do it but once all of that happened, uh, that kind of was it for me because I'm like, I can no longer deal with life and everything that I go through and not feel good health-wise, which is affecting my, ment my, my mental state of mind. So I have officially given up and our products. It's been about a whole week. And I, health-wise, even though I'm falling apart emotionally, I can honestly sit here and say that health-wise, oh my god, I've been able to sleep more, which is probably why I'm feeling a little bit better. Like last night I had the uh, just the best sleep ever because I think yesterday I ate the healthiest because without animal products and that's because I did buy a lot of like substitute stuff to like slowly help me this week and especially for my son too because he's going to try it. He's not opposed to it, but he's going to try it and because like again he has such a good heart and he doesn't want me to get sick again that he's like I'll try it with you like okay you know so I, I bought a little bit of substitutes which they say hey it's not the best thing substitute vegan food is a little bit like junk food but it's still better because a lot of it is soy based and stuff um, so I did eat a little bit of that but yesterday I really was like okay let me just try and really really do authentic so I ate a lot of raw veg like I stuffed myself with veggies and fruits and whole grains and and yesterday and I was like oh my gosh I did what a difference and so today I woke up so much better so much better like I cannot believe the difference and and I knew like something was tugging at me like I knew that Every time that I ate, even the leanness of meat, it was still causing an issue. It was causing an irritation in my stomach. Um, so 
I just came to that decision and a few people have asked me like well has it been hard and honestly probably if I hadn't gone through what I went through medically and have that feeling that I have felt since I got out of the hospital probably it probably would have been hard just doing it on my own I'm not gonna lie because I love eating meat however the moment I even think about oh that piece of you know barbecue rib looks good I immediately think about the pain that it's gonna cause me and I'm like no thanks <laughs> I do not want to eat it and plus every day I'm feeling so much better um, and with my body I just was like oh my gosh you know and honestly this week I have not exercised I haven't had the energy to do anything so the fact that I still lost more weight and anything not that that's the reason you should do it I really am doing it for health reasons but it's just it's the I don't know to me it's just it's hard to explain, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to come in here because and preach, go vegan, go vegan, because I don't, I don't know everything and I don't have all the answers. But I would just say maybe incorporate it more into your diet. But I wanted to share what I was doing and where I'm at. Um, never in a million years did I ever think that I would be filming a video from three months ago and say in three months I was going to go vegan. That wasn't the plan. But hey, it happened and I'm not going to stop sharing my life this is what it is now i don't do any more animal products i have a lot of animal products there and i'm like sometimes i think about it and i'm like maybe i'll just use some of it like maybe not the meats like i'll get rid of the meats because i know those are heavy but i have like a little bit of mayo and stuff like that and i just think about it and i'm like no because i feel like even that small amount is going to cost me you know some irritation so i'm debating like should i just get rid of everything at once it's been hard it's been hard getting rid of it i'm not gonna lie but I haven't had it, so that's my big drastic change. I am officially not eating any animal products. My hand is hurting, that's why I keep switching. My gosh, this vlogging thing is getting harder, guys. <laughs> um, but I lost my train of thought, of course. Anyways, I lost my train of thought. I forgot what I was saying. It happens. Um, I think I was talking about my hand hurting and life vlogging and this is what happened so that's the update with me i'm still gonna you know um be the same person that i am the only difference is i just i'm not gonna incorporate uh recipes that include meat and i hope that's okay with you guys it's saturday and my plans this time as before is to go to the beach hopefully i can make it i hear that it's gonna be a nice sunny day here in california and after this week i I told myself I'm gonna do something for myself and I knew that I've been wanting to go to the beach so I said that's perfect because the beach <sighs> cleanses my mind look who is with me guys has not made an appearance and the home biscuits probably miss you yum oh are you enjoying uh, breakfast mm -hmm. what do we have for breakfast Hash browns, patties, ketchup with hot sauce, and avocado. And avocado. So I baked some hash browns. There's a recipe that I found. Uh, just added. Uh, the recipe called for garlic powder, onion powder, or onion granules, and paprika. So of the three, I, I added garlic powder, smoked paprika, because that's what I have, and garlic salt. So, oh, and they added additional salt. So because I had um, used the um, onion salt, excuse me, not garlic, onion salt, I decided not to add salt. So it kind of worked out. It was kind of like the same thing, just a little bit different. And they're so good. Just bake them, use no oil, just sprayed a t the tiniest bit of canola oil just so that it wouldn't stick so much, which they kind of still did, but that's okay. It, it, was, it helped me enough to flip them over. Um... And I'm stuffed. I had some meatless veggie patties that I actually purchased a long time ago um, because I just like the taste of them. And I ended up just uh, heating one of those up and then some avocado. And that was our breakfast. And typically during the week, I have not been doing like any starches uh, like like in this amount. Um, so this is like a treat because it's the weekend and I think we deserve it and I deserve it. So it was still, it's very, it's still healthy, super healthy. Like um, I'm not afraid of carbs. Uh, I just, you know, just will have my serving in the morning and um, I love me some carbs. So I just choose, I'm choosing to just cook them a little bit different and trying to uh, lower my fat because fat is what makes 
you fat baking them is they're kind of hard and a little bit messier to eat as you can see they, they can you move your hand baby they fall apart a little bit quicker but they're so good that it just doesn't even matter like he just licks his fingers and eats and licks his fingers and goes back <laughs> what are you trying to watch <laughs> you didn't even say hi hi are you not interested uh, I don't know <laughs> we're almost done Yum, yum. We have a change of plans. We're not going to the beach. You see me dressed up like this. Wonder where we're going? Downtown Los Angeles Park. Wait, wait what is it again? Yeah, downtown. Grand Park. Grand Park, yeah, Grand Park. I'm not talking because I am on the freeway and we are five miles from oh my gosh, five from the park and it's gonna take us 25 minutes to get there. Wonderful. This is our wonderful LA traffic. Like, guys, just great. At least we're going 10 miles an hour. This is just fabulous. Plants, everyone. We came to the Grand Park in downtown LA. Right? Look at this beautiful. Are you gonna, oh, hold on. Oh, I'm getting a call. Hello? Hey. Yeah, I parked at the cathedral. Cyrus is playing on the fountain. What are you doing? Oh my. Please do not put your face in there. <laughs> Please, do not. Okay, you ready to go? You, do, you have like dark brown. Well, no, it's light. Sometimes it's light. It's okay. I'll, I'll pick it up. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, so does our dog. We see you. I see you. Or are those your black shoes? Your black Converse? That's looking. lunch break this is for lunch guys we found a Vietnamese food truck that served vegan options which is awesome tofu udon noodles and a nice little mixed green salad with the vegan sauce it is so so good like I, I'm surprised and Mr. CJ it's good it's good so good awesome <laughs> It is so hot too, so we had to like load up on more water. I should have brought more water from the car. Just kidding. Just kidding. Ah. <laughs> Did you drop your noodles? Yes. This is my booski. <laughs> she doesn't like it. <laughs> What did you do today? This is who I came to watch and perform at the LAUSD Grand Park. I'll show you. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll let you get a closer view. I'm going to get them a closer view. No, I don't want you going from here. See that? Anybody? Can you hear me still? Good? Awesome. Right there. So then they're getting ready. And look, bum bum bum. And they should be ready by now. 
how I express myself. Sometimes I can't <laughs> use my words and I have to paint or I have to play a song or I have to dance just for no reason just to get that emotion out of there. So yeah, it, it's, it, it's, an, it's like breathing. For me, a beautiful part of it is that you are never as good as you can be. The, one of the beautiful things about life is we learn until the day we die. We can continue to get better and better and better and better. So no matter what you do, Never think that you've reached your peak because there's always more to go. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I Am Lolo. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>